It's a drug treatment program unlike any other in the state. The Enhanced Treatment Program, or ETP, is helping women with children overcome meth addiction. The program started back in 2006 thanks to a state grant. And as CTN Stephanie Ring reports, six years later, it's changing the lives of women in remarkable ways. Once I got into the program, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Behind the walls of Cottage Number 2 here on the Old State Hospital grounds in Anoka is a program that's offering a miracle in the lives of dozens of women. I'm doing the UAs three days a week and coming here every, you know, three days a week and really ended up being the best thing for me. Dione Burns is a graduate of the Enhanced Treatment Program. It was six years ago that she came to ETP, and the UAs she's talking about are urinalysis tests, random tests done to detect drug use. It's one of the many facets of this unique program that's helping women stay sober and get their lives back on track. Dione dabbled in drugs for many years, until finally her meth addiction ruined her life. It was to the point where I... I couldn't function without it, so um, when the police came to my house, I just basically gave in, showed them where everything was and, and surrendered. I was like, okay, because I just didn't want to live that lifestyle anymore. Dione's two daughters were placed in foster care while she was in treatment. It was a motivating factor for her to stay clean. That was just a missing chunk of my heart that was gone. And um, so I was going to do what I had to do to get my children back. I think we hold the clients extremely accountable. Julie Allen is a case manager with ETP. She says the program is unique in that it's a year long and it's rigid. Strict rules are in place for a reason that ultimately hold people accountable. We have very, very high expectations for the ladies because many of them are coming here without any sense of responsibility, of timeliness, and our goal is to teach basic living skills. As part of the program, the women take part in group therapy three times per week. They're subject to random urinalysis tests three times a week, and case managers help participants with transportation and find employment and housing for those who need it. The program tries to address the whole person, and the one-year commitment allows those recovering from drug addiction to continue to receive support as they reintegrate into a life without drugs. Although we work, about, we work around addiction issues and the program is chemical dependency based, we're really focusing on self-esteem, independence, understanding connections about why they behave the way they did, and the fact that they can change. 153 women in all have entered the program. 50 have successfully completed it. For Dione Burns, she's a success story. She's never gone back to a life of drugs, and she got her children back. And for her family, they say ETP made all the difference in her recovery. It was interesting to see how Dion was changing and growing, and you knew she wanted to get her children back. Oh, I'm definitely proud of her. I think I've told her that more than enough times. She's just the most loving grandmother, mother that, you know, daughter that anyone could ever ask for. And um, she's, she's just really come a long way, and I think this program has helped her. I think it helps me, too, to, um, to tell my story. You know, and if um, it triggers anybody else to, to help them or make them think, um, I'll tell my story as many times as it takes. Clients are referred to the Enhanced Treatment Program by social services, corrections, or by court order. The current grant program runs through June of 2013. As for Dione Burns, who we profiled in the story, she is now studying to be a licensed drug and alcohol counselor. Stephen Karen, she wants to go on and help people in their path to recovery, much like the counselors that helped her. A great success story, and uh, we certainly wish her the best. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Steph. Thank you.